a pint of plain Gironi, man. Oh, Lord, shake me down. Give me a pint of plain. Oh, Lord, what can you do? Give me a pint of plain. <laughs> ah, yeah. In days again, after 17 years of the happiest married life any man ever had. And I'll tell you what was a great consolation. The two of them was buried in the same grave. Ah, yeah. The two was in the one grave, and I'm back in Haythbury Street in Diggs with the brother. You heard about the mad brother-in-law coming home on a visit out of the army. Three quarters in the jigs. Ah, yes. Came in one night with three bottles of malt on him and a serviette out of the B&I dining room. I told Mary the wife, just leave him alone. Give him his head, says I, and he'd be all right. Well, in any case, he began to fooster around the house and inside an hour he, he, he has the stairs on, on, on fire. I ordered all hands on the pump, so to speak. We got the fire out about after about an hour, but in the meantime, this character is inside in the kitchen with all the taps and the gas meter on, full bar. In any case, the wife goes in and only offers him a cigarette to get him out of the place. And the, the next salute is the whole kitchen is blown up and the wife killed on the bloody spot without a scratch on your man. He then gets a hold of the sledgehammer and when I'm doing the needful about the wife and away with him up the attic under the rafters. Well in any case when I got the wife's body covered under the blankets the brother-in-law he was up working on the scene with the sledgehammer working from a bull and didn't the unfortunate poor man knock a lump of plaster down on Nicky, my eldest boy killed him outright after that, our friend passed into some class of a, a coma. In any case, I sent a message for the guards and the doctors to come, but at 8 in the morning, this character wakes up and says he's off for the day to go to Killarney on the Radio Express. There was I with my wife and the eldest, dead, the half of the house in ruins, and I wouldn't mind, only... On the way out, he kicked the bloody milk bottles to pieces. How are you? The young chiseler tomorrow throwing his head off in his breakfast. And I'll tell you one thing about this man. A decent or china never wore a hat. A hard case, if you like. A character. I suppose I could call him my best friend. But a devil when he had a few jars on him. Uh, what are you having, lads? Uh, a point of, a point of plane? Oh, yes. The whisper in the morning, the whisper in the night. Are you going for a fight? Are you hanging about? Ah, the whisper in the morning. Ah, the whisper in the morning. Ah, yeah, boy, no, go on, go on. Whisper in the morning. 